A couple of years ago, it was popular for some trans YouTubers to be controversial. It was popular to support and agree with Blair White. And now it's apparently popular to go the complete opposite way and become an SJW. Today, I'm going to talk about some trans YouTubers I used to like and follow who are now apologizing for their old content and now have completely different opinions. Storm Ryan was really popular a while ago and he was best friends or he is best friends with Calvin Guerra, who's also quite popular. And they sometimes make content together, agreeing with each other, and I really liked it. But listen to Ryan's apology video. I use transmedicalism as a weapon against non-binary people because for a long time I felt like they made my identity invalid in the eyes of cis people. First of all, transmedicalism is a made-up word and we only use it online, so please just talk like a normal person. Yes, non-binary people are invalidating transsexuals' experience. People who identify with made-up genders and made-up identities, they do not take gender seriously. But transsexuals do because we have an uncontrollable feeling, you know, we have gender dysphoria. Trans means from what, going from one side to the other. Therefore, non-binary is not trans because they don't go drastically from one side to the other. They think they are something in the middle, and I think many people can relate to that, if not all people, with not being perfectly masculine or feminine. Um, which is stupid. Obviously, if someone is transphobic, they're just transphobic because they hate trans people. It doesn't matter if you're binary or gender non-conforming. They just hate trans people for being trans, and bullying each other isn't going to change that. So are we just going to give up then? not fight transphobia. But yeah, no, I don't think that he wants to give up. I just think that he wants to bow down to the trans community's agenda so he doesn't get in trouble. And I've said this before, the word cis is so cringe because we don't need a word to describe almost every single person on this planet. I just say non-trans and move on. We can we can actually talk like normal people. It's not that hard. Transmedicalism validated my existence as a binary trans person living with dysphoria to cis people. And in turn, that left out a really big chunk of the community. And that was super irresponsible of me. Why do we need to erase the definition of what it means to be trans in order to include more people? We have all different categories. We have all different labels. Why is it so necessary to erase transsexual experience in order to include people who don't have that experience. It's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, my interaction with Storm Ryan was quite interesting. He did call me on Twitter, Ariel Scarcella's minion. A while ago, he commented on an Instagram post of mine. This forced edgy shit is so lame. Talking about me. Moving on to the next trans YouTuber, Sam Collins has over 800,000 subscribers on YouTube. He has always been in the middle, I would say, and I did not always agree with what he was saying because then he was leaning, you know, towards a way I, I didn't agree with, but then sometimes he would say some really reasonable stuff. Not anymore though, listen to this. Why do neo pronouns bother people so much? It's like, if you don't agree with that, just ignore it. I just don't understand the whole neo pronouns make trans people look bad. Just a little news flash: transphobes are going to be transphobic whether you go by he him pronouns, our six foot four trans male who's completely jacked, or somebody who goes by bun and bun self and is short and has green hair and half of it is shaved. They're going to hate both of you equally. Equally, I cannot address this enough. The amount of ex transphobes in my DMs is crazy. I even have friends who used to be close-minded when it comes to transsexualism, but they're not anymore because of people like me or because of how I inform about transsexualism. In other words, my cis bootlicking is working. So even though I agree with you because it's facts, there will always be hateful people, always be transphobic people, it's not an excuse to give up. There is hope. You can change people's minds. But how many minds will you change if you let a bond and bond self 
green hair, big tits, but they're a trans guy, be the face of our community. Just let that person do what they feel is comfortable for them. Why are you being a big crybaby about somebody else's pronouns? <laughs> okay, but why do you care what other people think? Doesn't it go both ways, Sam? You know, watching a lot of people on YouTube, Blair was always a rational person that I used to listen to as a younger trans guy. And as I grew older, everything started to change with the way that I thought. I started to realize I don't agree with her anymore. I was more gatekeepy. That's not a word. But you know, if someone was trans and a lot different than me, I thought it was weird. I thought that they were not trans. I thought that you had to live the same type of experience that I lived in order to be trans. But you do. You have to live a certain experience in order to be a transsexual. You have to like men as a man in order to be a gay man. You cannot go up to a gay man as a bisexual and be like, I'm the same as you and not like we're not in the same environment, community. No, I am the exact same as you, but I like women too. Is it then gatekeepy to say, no, you have to like men in order to be a gay man? No, we have definitions for a reason. And the tea I have for you with Sam Collins, my interaction with him, he liked the death threat I got from Cops Hate Mo. And the context was he was m trying to make fun of me in a tweet, did not work, but okay. And then Cops Hate Mo wrote the death thread in his Twitter thread and he liked it. The trans community has a pattern, their obsession with controversial figures. Another pattern, their childish, their immaturity is non-existing and they act like bullies. And speaking of the lack of maturity, Calvin Guerra used to be cool. Calvin Guerra used to say a lot of rational based stuff. And now he's apologizing. Now he's shitting on Ariel, even though they were like personal friends. I want credit for this because people would call me transphobic to this day for being friends with Ariel Scarcilla. When for the past, I don't know, like six months, I have been telling her to shut the fuck up about trans people. And when I say they act like bullies, they get apology videos out of these people. Storm Ryan made a, an apology video. My most embarrassing career choice in the maybe four or five years I've been doing this uh, is most definitely working with Ariel Scarcella. I feel like I owe all my subscribers, the trans community in general, uh, a huge apology for even allowing her to be on my channel, for showcasing her, for giving her access. We have other YouTubers like Noah Finch, but I think he's always been awful. And Miss London. Miss London is a perfect example of today's topics. She used to be, I mean, center right, and now she agrees with Voss. But I'm not going to really talk about her today. I have known her a little bit for a while, and she's really, really sweet. I don't want to say anything bad about her, but it's a fact that she's also changed drastically. It's a shame that these based YouTubers are now SJWs because now I feel like we have two trans people like Rose of Dawn, amazing, and Blair White, who's not really political anymore. Can any other trans person like be public, please? But thank you all for watching this video. Comment down below if you have followed these people. I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.